Blessed Sunday, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, my loves. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing on this beautiful, wonderful, blessed Sunday? I know it's raining in some parts and areas. I'm sorry. I get it. I got it. Just use it as a refresh moment, right? Go out there and collect some of that rain. Hey there. Hey, Kelly. Akila. How y'all doing? This is going to be a general collective reading for everybody. All signs. This is love and romance. I do have um, weekly energy readings currently loading on my YouTube. So make sure you follow me over there as well. But we're going to get right into this. Um, we're going to get right into this energy and see what's going on. Hey, Michelle. Oh, thank y'all for stopping by. Hey, pretty lady. I know it's been a little minute. Again, I thank each and every one of y'all for y'all prayers um, and well wishes and all those things. Um, as I continue to go through this grieving process, but it's not about me. It's about y'all. So I just thank y'all for being here. Let's get into this collective love reading again. Help your cousins out. All right. Nieces and nephews, help your cousins out in the comments. If they're asking who, which sign is it? It's everybody's sign. So only take what resonates, what aligns with your thoughts, your wishes, your life, right? If it doesn't align with that, then leave it there for someone else. Um, of course, if the whole reading's not for you, just stay for entertainment. Sometimes you never know. You might need a good laugh. Okay. <laughs> Hey there, magical soul child. Hey, sweetness. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this um, collective love and romance reading for this Sunday vibe. All right. One more shuffle and we're going to get right into it. I am doing wonderful. How are you? Thank you so much. All right. Let's start with six cards. Let's see what's going on in love and romance for the collective. All signs only take what resonates. Stability, security with the palm tree energy and the mirror, mirror reflecting our rooms, our wombs. Sorry, y'all. I've been up since 9 a.m. channeling, so be easy on me today. All right. <laughs> Relationships reflecting our wounds. Someone, um, the energy that I immediately get is, yeah, someone thinks that their stability, right? Their money, their car, their house, their clothes. That's all that's needed. Um, what's that song? There's a song about that. Money's cars, house, clothes, all the nigga knows or something like that. I don't know. Y'all put it in the comments. But either way, this person is now, is now starting to understand that with all the money, all the accolades, all these wonderful Fendi, Gucci, Prada that they have, it's still, it's not enough for life. It's not enough for the heart space. It's not enough, right? All the different people that they could probably pick through, it's still not enough to fulfill the heart space. Someone's finally understanding, yeah, I think I need love. That's what's going off. But now I'm alone in my room right? Break up, separation, stop in the pattern. This silent treatment that someone's given is starting to bear real heavy. I mean, real heavy. Someone thought, I don't need you. I can go on in life. I got the big boat, the big house, all the chicks or all the guys. Everybody's always checking for me. But this silent treatment is starting to beat somebody's ass, I feel like. They didn't think it would, I'm hearing I didn't think it would hurt like this. This person really feels abandoned from their person. Because all the back alley whores in the, in the world cannot replace the one person who loved you unconditionally. Somebody's just starting to understand what that means. Keep going. Someone also notices that when you trigger them to become something more stable in their life, right? You weren't talking about their money. You were talking about their, their, their emotions, right? You were talking about their maturity level. You were talking about them being 10 toes down with you. You were talking about them being there when, when life ain't good, right? If I'm grieving or I'm hurting, you should be there to help me. Bowl of soup, pick up a flower, get me a card that says I love you and I miss you. This person didn't understand. It's beyond the money that you could have brought to me. It's beyond the bills that you could have paid. Whatever that was that you triggered this person to understand and to love, to understand that life was more than just trinkets and good times and, and hot, passionate sex, passionate sex having fun being in a damn amusement park all your life like you can't do that you got to grow up at some point in time you're going to be triggered and I feel like someone told someone that at some point in time somebody's going to come in your life and love you more than you've even loved yourself and you're not going to treat them right and they're going to walk away from you and you're going to understand what I'm saying a soulmate somebody's soulmate told them all right that's how it is. That's cool. It'll come back. You'll see what I mean in the future. Don't worry about it. I think this person's starting to see. And that was just all you were giving them was the truth and the clarity that this this thing here, this love shit is powerful. 
it'll bring you to your knees. But since you want to play with it, right? It's all about fun times and good times. You want to play with my heart. and my So somebody invested a lot into someone who took it for granted. They just, I don't know. Maybe it was clout to have you on their arm. Maybe you really did penetrate something better for them, but they didn't know how to display that to other people. Maybe you got them to understand who they were spiritually. Maybe you had them out here eating right. Maybe you had them out here praying. You had them out here meditating. Whatever it was, their normal community didn't understand you, so they felt like they couldn't understand you either. Y'all know I'm, I'm giving it real raw and uncut right now because I've been up for a minute, so... I don't mean to slice nobody with this Queen of Swords energy, but it's coming out raw because this person needs to be, they just need to get to the truth of the situation. Meeting someone, getting back out there and planning a date. Like I said, someone who should have been your unconditional love, given what they were getting, decided to go give it to someone else. The chaser and the runner energy. Decide, they decided to meet someone else new. If they could be this big and this wonderful with you, I feel like this person thought that they could find more. So they sabotaged it and possibly repetitively sab sabotaged it. So this might be multiple times that you and this person went through this or they met one person that kind of filled your shoes 60%. So then they went and found someone else and that person filled your shoes 70%. Then they went and found someone else and that person filled your shoes 40%. It was like this person kept trying to find someone to replace the feeling that you gave instead of coming back to you, whoever you are, to be honest that you were their everything. This is also giving me some encouragement for those who know that you left someone in the past who was not growing with you. Don't worry. Keep getting back out there. Stop the pattern of whether or not this person is going to come back into your life and go meet someone new, someone who's more stable for you. All right. Leave this person where they're at. Listen, let them have their third. I'm not making it up. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but it's the MF in truth. Somebody likes to have fun times, good times, high times, third party, sexual, passionate, run, off, run amok type energy. Not settling down, having a family, building something together, having a life, becoming emotionally mature with each other, getting through the milestones in life together. Somebody's not at that space and someone just has to be okay with that. Your soulmate, your person that you wanted, that you truly invested a lot into prayed for god for they're not ready they may never be ready they may always run from the love that you give them because they don't understand it there's a level of either a spiritual connection a level of a mature connection a level of some type of real deep like can't eat can't sleep when they when you first walked away this person couldn't eat couldn't sleep sitting at home snotty nose with a bunch of damn tissues in their bed because they sabotage themselves from running from you Make healthier choices because this situation is not enough for you, my loves. I'm talking to somebody and you don't want to hear it. And I get it. Auntie, love you. Come over here and get some hugs. Let me cook you something to eat. Let me make you feel all better. Tuck you in. Take a nap on the couch. But baby, this person is still enjoying laying around in the playpen with the pigs. They're still addicted to the same shit. Still obsessed with the same shit. I'm just being honest. I got to rip the bandaid off somebody. Oh, it's my soulmate. Oh, it's my twin flame. I got to hold on. No, the you don't. Especially when someone's not giving you what you're putting in, my babies. You're depleted every time you run behind this person trying to help them heal. Oh, let me go to their house and pray for them. Well, let me drop off some groceries to them. Let me go buy it. Hell no. Fuck that. And whatever else they got going on over there. Listen, have faith that love is coming for you because you've already been healed. Be lighthearted as you find out the truth about this person that they're enjoying their narcissistic, toxic ass ways. They're enjoying it. I'm, I just got to be some. OK, this is the raw truth reading. OK, when I put this on YouTube, if y'all need to find this later, it's going to be called the raw truth reading. OK, this person is still looking to find other people to try to make themselves feel like they did when they were with you coming back to you means i have to admit a whole six series full of some shit right i got six seasons full of some shit that i'll have to admit to my soulmate if i come back let me just find a a, a good replacement that's where this person is at 
Let me get one more card here, Spirit. Then I'll get some tarot and we're going to get up out of this because I feel like somebody don't want to hear me. And I love you, baby. I know you probably don't want to hear me. I'm either telling someone's secrets or I'm telling someone who, who wants to hold on to their twin flame soulmate and they're not figuring out that spirit keeps knocking on their door to get out and go find someone new. Sorry if I'm not looking at the, the comments. I apologize, y'all, but I got to get this reading out. I got to Somebody has to be released from this. You got release yourself, babies. Release. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Do y'all see the card? Do y'all see it? The snake. Competition. Enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman, the other man, the third party, the friends that they feel like they got to make. I, I don't fucking know what this person got going on because I don't do this shit. God damn it. Excuse me. Karmic ass. Making my hair hurt. Making my motherfucking hair hurt. What that little girl say? Whose child was that? I'm motherfucking tired. Whose child was that? Young thug's child? I'm motherfucking tired. <laughs> I got to get myself together. This person still likes karmic relationship, karmic ties. There's something about that toxic back alley sex or toxic ass connections, yelling and arguing. They still get off on that shit. Okay, they do. This person's not in the same energy as you. Y'all do not resonate with one another. You are in a positive mindset. Keep it. Manifest exactly what you want. Be grateful that you didn't go down this toilet bowl full of sewage, right? With the back alley sewer rats and the front alley possums. I don't got time for this. Let this person keep on going on in their cycles. They're either being charmed and used or they're charming and using others. They're staying in this narcissistic empath narcissist paradigm going back and forth with somebody in a karmic ass relationship. Leave them to it and have faith that love is coming. Manifest what you want. And I'm talking to those who keep saying, my soul make my twin flame. My soul make my twin flame. When they coming back, let me channel the cards. Let me ask the, ask the shells. Stop it. You are running ragged trying to figure out when that twin flame coming back. And they are running around in Grand Theft Auto Land having a good ass time in, in false Disneyland. Leave they asses there. You can't make them grow up. You can't give them a pass. You can't give them. No. Do not, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. That's where your person's energy is at. God, universe, spirit is going to have to work with them. You can't. I apologize because I might be coming off away, but I get very protective of, of my, my loved ones, right? And y'all are part of my soul tribe. If you're here and you are tuned in and you tapped in and I happen to read your energy accurately. That's because I really want to protect y'all from this nasty ass shit that's going on with this person. You don't know who they're running around with. They could be running around with somebody who really plays in dark magic. But because your person is still in love with you, this person who does dark magic is now coming after you. Leave this person be. And another way that I, I explained it earlier in the week to one of my life coach students is when we get to thinking, well, what are they doing and how are they doing and when are they coming back? You throw out a fishing line. And what you reel back might be your person with another thing attached the fuck to it. So cut that cord. Let that person go swim. And if they're supposed to come back, they'll come back healed. Not with this. And I tell you all all the time, I'm, I'm an intuitive person. I don't need the cards, right? The cards help me visualize even further. It's more to confirm for everyone who's watching. And everything out here, karmic relationship, girl with a snake, the snake, seduced. And then the mirroring trigger energy. This person's not ready. I ain't doing it to be rude. I'm doing it to be real. This person's not ready. It's time for a brand new love to come into your life. All right. Let's see what the tarot has. It might break your heart to hear it, but it'll be more of a burden to hold on. Real talk. Let this twin flame go on ahead and have fun with it, right? All right. Let me get just a few cards from the tarot. The hair font. Connect, don't connect yourself to someone or something that's not going to give it back to you. So some of you, this person may have still said, well, you know, we're supposed to be together. I'm going to marry you one day. But this person could already be married or in some type of other commitment with someone else. You are the empress 
or you are the emperor. Do not lower yourself for this situation. There's a true relationship coming for you. Something from the stars, something from galactic, something that resonates with who you are today. And even if you're not someone who talks about stars and quasars and all of that, right? <laughs> it's the type of relationship that you want. Something that you can grow with. Someone that can grow with you. Someone who wants to be committed. I just heard date with a purpose. So don't date people off of flighty, fickle feelings just because they're attractive and you're attractive. If someone's not talking about settling down, if it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm dating and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Leave that shit to the side. That ain't what you want. You want someone who is 100 percent. No, I'm dating to find my other half. I'm dating to find a life partner. Right. We're not dating for no no passionate evenings. This ain't Burger King. You're not going to slide through and have it your way. You're looking for someone that can stand in the sun with you who can build a life with you, have kids or accept your kids, have a blended family, take care of each other's elders. You get what I'm saying? Blend your friends, blend your cousins. Like we're not looking for no toxic shit. Excuse my language. Ooh. I don't know why people who just want to run around and do what they want, why don't they just go on about their business? Like why, why are you over here messing with my babies? Because you're going to make me, you're going to make me pop the trunk. Don't, don't get it twisted, okay? Don't be no fool, baby. Don't be no fool. Auntie gets wicked in these motherfucking streets, okay? Woo. I'm here today by the grace of God, but let it be known I was born in these streets. And I will fuck you up when it comes to my loved ones, okay? Lead this person. <laughs> Three more cards, spirit. The world. The world is yours, Nino, and everything in it. So you don't have to stick to this person just because you are twin flames and someone gave you a reading said, oh, that's your twin flame soulmate. If they're not doing what they need to do, they can't have the prize, period. Y'all got all major arcana. God is moving something for you. Every every card here is all a spiritually backed card, a, like a God backed card, a card that is backed by a spirit or an angel. God is moving things for you, my loves, whoever this resonates for. I'm going to get one more card here, spirit. So whatever stagnant energy is getting ready to be moved from you. Page of Wands, time to either. This is the message that you needed to hear. There's a message that you're looking to hear from. Maybe you're looking for something in the mail or some type of email. Be on the lookout for that in the next week. If not, this is your message that this person is still in their avatar mind. So don't stay stagnant because you're 10 of cups. Oh, shit. Your Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is right on the way. And you already intuitively know it. You just got to take a leap of faith to go find someone who's going to be an equal give and take and having healthy boundaries, moving away from this person who has this little ass offer as they tap dance with the devil. Don't take this little ass offer from the devil. Go and find the love of your life. Don't stay stagnant on this. Don't don't think about this too long, baby. The boat might pass. OK, <laughs> don't jump in their dinghy when you know you're supposed to be on the yacht. That's all I'm going to say, because if auntie coming by with the yacht, y'all better jump on the motherfucker. All right. Open bar and everything. OK, let me get um, <laughs> I get some butterfly kisses and see. Yeah, you're choosing yourself. I gave it all I had and I lost myself. This time I choose me. Goodbye to everything and anything that doesn't align with that. And that might have been your decision back in winter. December, January, or February, or somebody's birthday is possibly in winter. I have I or V, initials of their name or yours, and A or J, who says that this situation is passionless when they had fire and desire with you. Maybe that's why they're rotating people so often, because the, the passion burns out quickly in these karmic relationships. Well, yeah, I bet it does. That one thing that that one little trick that they do, that's a yeah, that's what it is. They end up running into a, a lot of one trick ponies. So either this person makes a lot of money and that excites them or in the next person can do that one thing in the bed and that excites them. But that one thing, I mean, it's going to get boring after a while. So they have to find someone else. We're with you. You're the empress. You're all four queens. You're every you're everything that anyone could ever want. Right. Male or female. Your money right, your body right, your mind right, your soul right. Like, there's not one thing. Like, you're not a one-trick pony. You're not. Like, you out here. You're doing big things. You're, and you are this person's fantasy. That's why th th they can't. I'm hearing I can't leave you alone. Whose song was that? Sierra? 
You're this person's fantasy. You're everything that anybody could ever want, male or female. Y'all know how I read. Dog, chicken, cat, cow, don't matter. I read for everybody. Somebody is probably really upset because they lied to you and you're on to their game. You don't care anymore. Could be an earth sign in this situation, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Let me get two more cards and I'm out of here. Get something from y'all spirit guides. Wow. This person misses everything about you. Like I said, you're not a one-trick pony. They miss your eyes, your voice, your touches, your food, the way you walked around the house, the way y'all play fought, the way y'all, everything, all the spontaneous things I'm hearing. All right, that's it. I'm taking that one and that one and I'm just done. This person still wants to have a, a way with their body or a way with your body, a way with somebody's body. They ready to pounce on your ass, just know that much, all right? <laughs> And you know this person's secrets. Let's just get it out there in the open. You know that I know that you know that I know. So just get it out there. Initials could be G or S. Like I said, they like to watch the way you're either your ass jiggled or the way you used to walk around the house, male or female. Z or L and E or N. And will they ever get the shit right? Maybe. It's free will. But who got time? Who got time? You got time to just sit stagnant? I ain't got, to, I ain't got that type of time. Yeah. And again, I'm here with the message as spirit is giving it to me. Y'all are grown people. Y'all better be grown. If you ain't grown, you need to go ahead and take a sharp left. Go get you a popsicle and go outside. Um, but we all grown here. So whatever you decide to do with your life, please do. But I'm letting you know that I don't feel like this person's in the right energy for you at this time. You need to allow spirit and universe to keep giving them things that they need to do to grow. And that may be a lot of triggering ass karmic relationships that keep eating at them until they know that they need to come in union with their person. But these are the initials that I have. I'm going to get something real quick from your spirit team, and we're going to cut this thing short. All right, babies. Let me get two cards from the spirit team, and we out of here. If you're just joining me, make sure you follow me over to my YouTube page, The Healing Butterfly. That is my YouTube channel, The Healing Butterfly. I put all of my lives on YouTube. So feel free to, re to review sorry, any of the readings that are there because they're all timeless. And I do have the weekly energy readings. I think they're premiering right now for all elements. So make sure you tune into my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Trying to grow the channel. Trying to reach as many people as possible. All right. Two cards here. One may be for you. One may be for this other person. God be with them. <laughs> all right. We have perfectionism. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. If someone thought that they needed to perfect this person or you needed to get this person on, on the right journey, this is my twin flame, I got to heal him, I got... Baby, no. You can only perfect yourself. You can only move yourself, right? Everything else you got to leave for spirit to do. All right, intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. And it, 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 it will. It may not be this person, but that don't mean that you're not going to get an emperor or an empress. That doesn't mean that your blessings still aren't going to be given to you just because this person. Think about how many of us are really out here doing the work, male or female. A lot of us are doing the work to understand ourselves. To let go of those childhood wounds. So there will be someone who's going to be compatible. It just may not be this person that you've already met. It might be someone else. Okay. And doubt. Offering, to, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity that never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. Somebody needs to take a screenshot of this. And whenever they think that life or love or money or something like that is not going in their in their in their way, tell yourself this. Free yourself from the doubt of what you see and go into the faith of what you feel in your heart, what you've been praying over, what you've been meditating over. Some of y'all don't pray or meditate, but you might send out affirmations to the universe. Whatever that is, you should stand on that, not at the fact that it didn't manifest physically for you just yet. OK, because then that's already kind of putting doubt and fear into the universe that they're going to do what they said that they were going to do or God. OK, and work. I am now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. 
Wow. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. Wow. (laughs) The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. So whatever work you have been doing on yourself, don't worry. Like I said, again, it's all coming back to you. So whatever you need, just know that spirit is already putting it into place for you. (laughs) All that all that work that you put in to be loved back is coming back to you. Wow. So have the courage (laughs) and the self-love. And be spacious to offer it truly and accept yourself because spirit is doing something behind the behind the veil that you don't even know. Let this person be who they want to be. If this is who they shown that they want to be, they keep coming up as a page when they know that you're an emperor or an empress. Child, bye. That's too small of an offer and they already knew it when they came to you. All right, my loves. I appreciate y'all. I am out of here for the day. Make sure you follow me over on YouTube. There are a bunch of readings over there and brand new ones for the week ahead for the energy. If you're wondering what energy is coming your way for the week ahead, stop by the Healing Butterfly on my YouTube channel. I thank y'all all all so much. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we meet again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. Y'all take care. Oh, thank you. Hey, Erica in the building. You're welcome, pretty lady. Y'all are so welcome. Thank y'all so much. I see Nay the groomer in the building. Hey there, sweetness. All right, nieces and nephews, y'all take care. Self-care time. Oh, you know what? Real quick. Let's pull a self-care card for y'all. Real quick. For those who are in the building. It is self-care Sunday. So let's let's pull it out. Let's see. See what spirit has for y'all. What self-care energy for those that are in the live or those that grace this particular reading? What self-care energy should they bring in not just to today, but for the week spirit? What self-care energy? Give me two cards. Two cards for this particular reading. Those who resonate. Okay. Well, (laughs) ching, ching, ching goes the money tree. And every time it changes, money comes to me. It all comes in so abundantly. From the top, left, right, and up under me. Somebody needs to do their chance today. So if you are someone who says affirmations, I call in my blessings right now. I align with the universe to bring in my abundance and prosperity now. Make sure you say now at the end of all of your affirmations. And if you are familiar with the ching, 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 the Lashami um, chant, you may want to say that as well today or this week to bring in that money. So your priorities, we are going into a new month. So if you have goals that you need to set Maybe there's a certain revenue that you want to hit by the end of the month. Some of you, there's a goal for weight loss. Some of you, it's maybe even just working out at least three days a week. Whatever that is, make sure you're setting your priorities today because tomorrow's a brand new month. The quality of your life is determined by how much time you spend, how you spend your time. Sorry. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. Like I said, making time to work out, making time to eat right, making time to rest, whatever that is, put it on your calendar now. Some of you may work a corporate job and it's like, I just want to be able to have that last 30 minutes of my day to wrap up my emails. Well, put it, put a meeting on your calendar at the end of the, of the day, Monday through Friday, 30 minutes, block it off and say that you're busy and that's your wrap up time. So whatever that means for y'all. OK, um, and then the focus again with the list. I'm also getting vision boards. So what are you what are you visualizing for the month of May? If you focus on OK, if you focus on what you don't want, there's a good chance you might get it. Focus on what you do want instead. That's manifesting. We don't talk about, oh, but if it doesn't come in, then I want this. No, this is what I want. I have an island in my kitchen. There's a sunken floor in the living room. There's a three-car garage. There's a a nice pool in the backyard, Spirit. I got a nice little barbecue area for the kids to be able to go over there and play. Like, what what are you manifesting? Is it a brand new business? What's the layout of the business? What kind of clientele are we connected to? What's my product doing? You know, things like that. Visualize it. What kind of car am I driving? Am I owning the yacht or am I just renting out the yacht? Like what what does this life look like to you? Okay. Daydreaming. I just heard this the song Daydream by what's that? Lupe Fiasco and um Jill Scott. So play that song, Daydreaming. Um, abundance. Being a thoughtful steward of your money, of the money you already have, is the secret to creating more abundance. My dad, may he rest peacefully, used to always say, if you take care of your money, your money will take care of you. I used to just ball my money up and throw it in my pocket. And he'd be like, oh my gosh, take that money out, flatten it out, put it in order. Because if you take care of your money, your money will take care of you. And my mom used to always say, if your purse or your house is a mess, you're a mess internally. 
So someone needed to hear that. Take care of your money. Be a good steward of your money. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So if you're frivolous with your money, frivolous with your accounting, if you own your own business, then maybe you need to tighten up shit. You need to get tightened with yourself. Eat better. Make sure you go on that walk every 30 minutes. Make sure you spend that extra 45 minutes researching or that extra hour studying for the bar exam. Whatever that is that you want prosperity to come in, what can you give into it to get more out of it? All right? Because it's going to grow, whatever it is, and it's going to be a success, even though you got to take a little risk, right? Be at peace and make the right decisions and step into your power. You might need to change a few things either around your energy or in your spiritual group, something like that. Just make sure you're taking a high energy and a high road with your decisions as you take actions. And again, these are the things that you should be calling in. Calmness, beauty, love, kindness, joy, hope, fun, and adventure. All right? All right, my loves. Truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves. Make sure you have some self self care time this Sunday before you go into this brand new week and brand new month. All right. Namaste. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to y'all later.